Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the scattering matrix parameters of Gyrator. In the previous video, I have explained the working principle and operation of the Gyrator, how it uh, travels the signal, how it uh, passes the signal from first port to second port with 180 degrees phase shift and in the reverse direction, there is no phase shift. See, this is the just example how the Gyrator works. Gyrator is a two port device port 1 here and port 2 in the forward direction it gives phi radians nothing but 180 degrees phase shift in the forward direction and in the reverse direction there is no phase shift that is 0 degrees phase shift is there okay so theoretically with the diagram with the help of uh, waveguide diagram we have seen how it is working now gyrator is a two port device Gyrator is a two port device which are non reciprocal having one eighty degrees phase shift having 180 degrees phase shift okay that is from first port to second port okay now let us see how the scattering matrix parameters are going to be evaluated from this gyrator see how many ports how to calculate the scattering matrix parameters how to calculate the scattering matrix parameters <coughs> so scattering matrix s matrix is a square matrix s matrix is a square matrix of size s matrix is a square matrix of size n by n of size n by n what do you mean by n n is nothing but a number of ports n is nothing but number of ports how many ports that your gyrator is having two ports so then what is the size of s matrix the size of s matrix for gyrator size of s matrix for gyrator is 2 by 2 that means s is equal to s11 s12 s21 s22 okay so this is the first point we should know okay as gyrator is a two port device any waveguide how many ports that it is having that many scattering matrix parameters we need to be calculated always okay so as gyrator is a two port device a two port so two by two scattering matrix parameters is there nothing but four parameters are there s11 s12 s21 s22 now these are the four parameters now we need to calculate for the gyrator okay so what do you mean by s11 what do you mean by s11 s11 is nothing but the s11 s22 these two are nothing but <coughs> If the first port is perfectly matched and second port is perfectly matched, then the reflection in that first port itself is zero. And similarly, the reflection in the second port is zero if it is perfectly matched. Okay. Suppose, so you are taking the gyrator here. For this gyrator, you are connecting some load at this first port and again, you may connect some load at this second port if this first port and second port are perfectly matched to this gyrator junction gyrator then the impedance mismatch if as there is no impedance mismatch the scattering reflection parameter that is a s11 is equal to 0 and s22 is equal to 0 so <coughs> if the first port and second ports 
are perfectly matched then s11 is equal to s22 is equal to 0 s11 is equal to s22 is equal to 0 now this is the first point what about the other two parameters what about the other two parameters s11 yes, and s12 yes, and s21 yes, s12 yes, mean by s12 yes, when input is applied at first port what is the reflection at the second port and when input is applied at the second port what is the reflection at the first port okay but in from the property of the gyrator we can say that it is a non reciprocal property okay gyrator is a two port device which is a non reciprocal in nature that means one and two ports are opposite ports so 180 degrees phase shift is there from one to two okay that's why we cannot directly equate s12 is equal to s21 but we can equate with a negative sign because of that 180 degrees phase shift okay so, from the property of from the property of gyrator from the property of gyrator we can write yes one two is equal to minus yes to one yes it is non reciprocal in nature non reciprocal in nature so yes 1 2 is equal to minus yes 2 1 okay now all these four parameters we have got uh, some idea now we can substitute them in this s matrix so s matrix is equal to <coughs> S11, S12, S21, S22. Now substitute whatever we have got here. That is equal to 0, S12, and it is minus S12. We can write it as 0. Okay. Now take the property of S matrix to calculate S12 value. Now all these among all these four parameters, so the unknown parameter is only one parameter that is S12. Okay, now let uh, let us calculate the value of S12 by taking another important property of the S matrix, which is a unitary matrix. Okay, so let us consider the unitary property of the S matrix from unitary property. of s yes, matrix see when uh, in order to simplify the scattering matrix parameters we should consider the properties of that uh, corresponding waveguide and as well as the properties of s yes, matrix <coughs> so what is the unitary matrix s yes into s yes star is equal to i so here s yes into s yes star s yes, uh, <coughs> That means matrix parameters if you are taking <coughs> 0, S12, minus S12, 0, zero S12 star, minus S12 star, 0, is equal to I is nothing but 1, 0, 0, 1. <coughs> now, row column multiply row 1 column 1 it is s12 square mod s12 square is equal to 1 that implies s12 is equal to 1 <coughs> okay so the value of s12 is 1 simply therefore the s matrix of gyrator is s is equal to 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 this is the s matrix of the gyrator 
So that's the representation of this minus 1 means the minus 1 represents that there is a 180 degrees phase shift from port 1 to port 2. The representation of this minus 1, that minus 1, the negative sign, the negative sign indicates that there is a phase shift of 180 degrees in forward direction. There is a phase shift of 180 degrees in the forward direction which is the basic property of gyrator which is the basic nature or property of gyrator okay so this is about the scattering parameters of this gyrator thank you